Hello and welcome to a video on how I create my painterly look in my images. Um, clearly the conditions I shoot in is a big factor, that being whether that's mist or um, low light, early morning, evening, or here was low cloud. Um, and so, so that has a major effect on, on that sort of soft painterly look to the, to the pictures. Uh, but there are editing tricks as well. Um, many which can be used but this one today i'm going to talk about is the so-called autumn effect uh, there are many videos on this but this is a sort of simple basic way that i create that sort of soft sharp look to my images in particular on woodland scenes where i think it works best so without further ado um so i've got my my image open in photoshop i'll duplicate the layer call it so that's the layer we're going to work on selected i go into my filters up here blur and gaussian blur i have that usually set to between 20 and 30 percent use the slider to adjust it so that creates a very blurry image i then go up into the image adjustments and levels which you see this little graph if i move this slider to the left which makes the image very bright and then this slide to the right you get a very contrasty scene so it's now a very blurry contrasty scene as a layer and then take the opacity and drop that down to about 15 to 20 percent um, anything more than that I find would look pretty unnatural um, it's always worth editing and then going away having a coffee coming back later and seeing um, once your eyes are adjusted to it um, it's very obvious when this this effect's been used uh, too much um, so often I'll choose a percentage I think that looks nice and then even drop it down a little bit further and then you can see the before and then after it's giving it a nice soft glow and then with these woodland scenes as a final tool with again that top layer selected i'll add a, a mask choose a, a brush i've got the black selected and then i'll just brush the effect away from the, the bark of some of these trees i find that then just adds a little bit more detail back to these trees obviously just being very crude here but we take more time in real life and there you go you can see that it's sort of taken away the effect from from these from these trees and so if you look at the before and after there's an hour a nice glow in the background which i think makes for a more pleasing shot and that's it really. So I hope, I hope you enjoy this video um, and are able to follow it. Please have a go. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, do appreciate it. If anyone um, likes this video, would like to like it and consider subscribing. Indeed, if you've got any comments or suggestions for future videos, please do leave a comment in the box below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So thank you very much. Until next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.